Hi there, YouTube. Sitting on the falling tree. Actually quite comfortable. I do hope that uh, the tripod the tripod won't won't fall. <laughs> Like I said in my previous video, one of my one of my all-time favorite places in the park. Despite it being kind of overcast, the birds are going nuts. Sorry about that. Smoking my Dagner poker that was a gift, sort of a mismatched mouthpiece, and you have to excuse the softy bit. White softy bit on the black mouthpiece, but you know, I couldn't find the black one. <laughs> and in it, I'm smoking. The topic of this video, that's early morning pipe match done by Sutliff. I'm kind of a, not a big fan, but a fan of Sutliff tobacco. I love their great outdoors, which is pretty cheap and a very nice mild aromatic. there everyone is usually joking about uh, Molto Dolce which is a very very potent aromatic tobacco you tried it if you manage to get it to dry it up it's a pretty nice mild smoke again for those smokers who don't like tobacco taste of, don't like their tobacco to be tasting like tobacco <laughs> this stuff I I haven't smoked the original so I cannot say anything but in itself I am amazed by this blend you may remember I bought three samples this one Haunted Bookshop by Coronel and Deal and Pirate Cake again by Coronel and Deal. I did a sort of an opinion video on Pirate Cake in which I <laughs> basically explained my frustration with this blend that everyone seems to love and I cannot grasp it. And as for the haunted bookshop, I'll do an opinion video on that, but summing it up, I can say this is not my cup of tea. I should have guessed that, judging by Matches860, his videos, and other people who enjoy it are usually former cigarette smokers, etc. But that's not the point, that's the point for another video. This stuff is good. You know, it's good, like real good. Uh, I, you may remember, I am on the search for a sort of an all-day smoke English mild one that will satisfy my palate and won't get me broke financially um, and I liked Peterson Wild Atlantic but there seems to be a sort of a problem with obtaining it or maybe a problem with production I don't know then I stumble upon this stuff uh, I'm definitely gonna order more 
from the place I bought it, bought the sample from. It's it's mild. It's it smells absolutely beautiful out of the tin or the jar or whatever. You may remember that when I initially opened the samples I didn't remember what I was what I bought. I didn't remember the, the, the name and I was sure it was an aromatic because the smell is so nice and so so delicate and at the same time so natural uh, and uh, it translates beautifully into the smoke itself which is kind of amazing because there's a you know there are many tobacco blends that smell beautifully the tin note is beautiful you know pirate cake comes to mind and even my favorite you know McBaron Navy Flake it's it smells beautifully and you you keep on wishing that this smell would translate into the smoke and it doesn't do it you know a hundred percent this one of course does not transition you know 100 percent as well but it does some other things that are so subtle and beautiful and I that I cannot even <laughs> cannot even name them properly first of all there's definitely tobacco here it's not molto dolce it's not an aromatic mixture that for some reason happens to be a pipe tobacco this is definitely a pipe tobacco You get a very, very, very small hint of Latakia in it. Kind of like the Peterson Wild Atlantic. Kind of like that. But everything else, it's just fruity and sweet somehow. And this tobacco has no... No 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 sauce i think there's no artificial sweeteners there's nothing it's just pure tobacco it's just mixed that way and that's amazing you get some grassy aftertaste it smells beautifully just the the pipe itself smells nice it smokes beautifully it is, you know, for for all of you, you know, YouTube people, it actually smells really, really nice. And it smokes nice because you're... I'm puffing on it pretty aggressively because my cadence is always off, especially when I'm talking. But it's still going and it's not... I can... This pipe is, you know, the walls are pretty thick, but I'm holding it and I cannot sense any major heat heat sorry so out of the three tobaccos i purchased this is a firm winner as of now other two have their own thing going and being cornell and deal blends they do it beautifully but this is just so up my alley. Uh, that's amazing. My only regret as of now is that I haven't tried the original early morning pipe. I cannot compare them. I may try to track down a tin or two, but you know, it's probably hard to do worldwide and no, 
me being in Russia and having all these restrictions I'm basically stuck here so uh, my search is limited to Russian territory and just I saw a couple of variants I may go for them I don't know but on the other hand if it if the original is so much better than the match I won't be disappointed because I love this and I'm I'm like I said I'm gonna order it and I do hope that Sutliff will keep producing it because they'll have one satisfied customer for sure I think the rain is picking up so I'm gonna cut this video so Dunhill early morning pipe match by Sutliff tobacco get it if you can That's a nice tobacco. And I'm signing off. Thanks for dropping by. I'll try to make another video if it if the rain won't become stronger. If not, sorry, I tried. Thanks, uh, thanks for dropping by. See you people. Goodbye.